What are the range of disease manifestations that I see in my patients with dermatomyositis? How long do we have? There's such a range of rashes that people can get, but really it is redness or violaciousness, this purple discoloration in mostly sun-exposed areas, sometimes associated with swelling, sometimes associated with even wounds or small wounds. When it affects the muscles, we think about what we call proximal muscle weakness. So often it is patients with shoulder disease and thigh disease. Practically, patients will come in saying, you know, I really can't comb my hair anymore. That's very really painful, or I just can't physically do it. Or, you know what, doc? Over the past couple of months, I've really had a hard time getting up from a chair from a seated position. Once I hear those, I, you know, my mind immediately is drawn to an inflammatory myopathy. And if they have the characteristic skin rash, I know what they have. Itching can be really impactful for patients. They'll often present with itching. When they have lung disease, often the lung disease that we worry about uh, is interstitial lung disease. It can be quite severe in a subset of our patients with dermatomyositis. It can be rapidly progressive, associated with a high morbidity and mortality. Often these are patients I'm meeting in the hospital and they're being treated with much more systemic immunosuppression, immunosuppressive aggressive treatments necessarily. And of course, the other thing that I'm always worried about is the association with malignancy. So I always need to look, does this patient have cancer? Have they been screened appropriately for cancer? And my treatment will, will uh, differ based on the presence or absence of cancer. So really, I'm looking for all these things in addition to whether or not there could be joint disease. I find that that is often underrepresented, overlooked, but many of my patients will complain of inflammatory joint disease. And what that means for me is joint disease or joint pain, stiffness, that is worse in the morning, that gets better with activity. In a disease where multiple specialties manage patients, rheumatologists don't miss this. The dermatologists who are often managing these patients who feel very comfortable and confident in skin disease, muscle disease, maybe the lungs and malignancy, often do, I think, overlook the arthralgia, the joint disease. And it's such an important piece because it really does affect how I think about treating patients.